Okay, um, hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to scale the Google Map drawing to one is to one on AutoCAD. Um, so first you'll open up your Google Maps on Chrome, then you'll search up the site you want um, to make it look like this with all like the shadows and stuff. You will click here, like originally it um, will give it to you in this view of the map. Then you'll click here to satellite view it, and you'll have this. Then the site we're working with in architecture right now is this portion of land. Um, so I'm just going to take my snipping tool. And you can see I've already done it, but I'm just doing it again. <laughs> I'll say new. Um, I'll just select the land that I want. I do that by holding this, the left button of the mouse. I click it, hold it, and then drag to get the whole site. And then um, I'm also going to select the little map, the scale, sorry, that the Google Maps gives me. Um, I let go. I let go of this button once I've selected all the land I want. Then I'm just going to copy this image. You can save it and put it into a folder so you have it and you don't have to keep doing this. But I'm just doing this for this video. <laughs> then you open up a new um, AutoCAD um, page, I press um, control V to paste the image. And you can see here it is, I just, okay, so I've pasted it with control V. Then I'm going to use this little ruler here that this scale that was given to us by Google Maps, I'm going to use it to scale up this drawing one is to one. Um, I'm going to use the line function on AutoCAD. You can use the ruler function, I just prefer the line function. Um, then you're just gonna press here on the edge of this ruler and you drag it down to the end of this. Try and make sure that it doesn't catch here by accident. You just hold it. Don't, you don't have to click it down or anything. You can just uh, um, use it to measure this line. And it's like 190 right now and it's supposed to be 100 meters. So remember, this is in uh, millimeters, not meters, on your AutoCAD. So we're going to try and get this 190 to become, this 190 millimeter to become 100 meters. So you select your image. You go to um, scale. Um, you specify the base point. So we're just going to make this our base point. You just click it. And you'll see now you can stretch it to get to um, the amount of scale, the enlarge or minimize you want for scale. But we're going to type in the exact scale we want. So I'm going to type out 100. For the 100 um, since it's 100 meters, it'll be 100,000 millimeters. Then slash 190, which is what the line currently is. And I'm press enter. And then I'm going to click this um, magnifying glass with the little thing, <laughs> with the stretch out thing. It basically zooms out to get the full measurement of this, where you can see this thing in full view, I guess. I'm sorry my English is so bad. <laughs> then I'm going to click, I'm going to click my line function again and measure this one more time just to make sure it's at 100 meters now. I'm um, going to stretch that out there, and you can see it's like basically 100 meters now, yeah. Yep. <laughs> 100 meters, cool. So that's how you basically get this whole thing to one is to one. Then you want to trace out, um, you can basically just use the line and um, square functions on uh, AutoCAD to trace out your site. Um, and then you'll go into uh, layout one. So you'll have this on like a normal piece of paper. You'll go to, uh, on the top ribbon, you'll have the layout here, and you'll say uh, page setup. You go to modify. Cool. Um, this basically gives you the specifications of the page that we are working with right now. Then you'll go to, you can see it's like, currently it's on an A4 size page, and I want it to be on an A1 page. And I'll say I want it landscape perfect. Uh, make sure that this is one millimeter and the unit is one always, because sometimes it changes when you do this. It, 
it will become like 0 0.35 or something. So make sure that this is 1. And you'll click OK. Um, uh, that's fine. So now you see the page enlarged. <laughs> yep. Um, then I'm just going to click into this tiny window. And I'm going to stretch that up here. Okay, great. Then I'm going to click into the window. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, so when I click in the window, window, you can see that I'm moving around the images within this window. So then I'm just going to click out here, and now I'm no longer inside the window. Um, yeah, so then to zoom in to get your scale, we're going to make this 1 is to 5,000. So I'm going to click within the window again. I'm going to type, um, I'm going to say Z, uh, enter. So that basically said zoom. Then it says real time. So I'm going to say S, C, um, enter. Then now I said I wanted to 1 is to 5,000. So I'm going to say 1 slash 5,000. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to type x p while this one in one in five thousand x p enter and there you go this is the image one is to five thousand i know it looks like nothing changed but that's because um this image one is to five thousand will look like this on an a1 size page now we can try and see what it looks like one in two hundred so i'll go zoom i'll say z enter s c enter one in 200 x p enter now you see what it looks like one in 200 on an a1 page it's quite large <laughs> and that's the side i'm working with uh click out again and yeah 